My name is Amy. I am one of the trainers and Group X instructors at the Princeton Club. Erin is with me today and Hi. Zach is on the camera. Um, we are recording another video for you at home. Uh, anybody could do this video. There's going to be modifications shown by Erin. It is um, partially timed and partially rep based. You can easily download a timer to your phone. Um, otherwise, if you just want to count it out to yourself, you could do that too. There's really a lot of different ways you can play around with this one. It should take you about 45 minutes tops, but some of you might know are like little elephants at home, you're going to get it done a little bit quicker. Um, remember, if you have hand weights or anything of your own at home that you want to add to it, please feel free to. Otherwise, do it as we scripted it. You just need your body weight and some soft surface to do some of the groundwork on. And again, remember, modify where you need to. I'll still be shouting out my cues just like I usually do. Alright. Ready? Okay. So, here we go. We're going to do our easy warm-up. For those of you who have been in a class with me before, you already know this one. You're going to breathe it in and up. Big deep breath. And you're going to take your arm circles back and back and back and back. You want to make sure they're really big. So, you're going to go back for five, four, three, two, one more. And then you're going to go into some really easy jumping jacks. Or, if you're at home and a jumping jack's not your friend, you're going to size up one side to the other side to the other side to the other side. Get ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You're gonna hold the last one up right here. And you're going on to your squats. Squats are up to you. If you're just waking up in the morning and doing this and you're still a little tight, don't go down very deep. If you have a knee issue or a hip issue, don't go down too deep. Just take it to the level that works best for you. If you're already warmed up, take it down as low as you want to go. Going on for five. You're sinking into those heels and you're pushing up through those heels each time, please. Two more. And then one more. Good. And you're going to step it up nice and long. So one foot's going to go in front, the other foot's going to go back. Y'all have one more probably rolling your eyes right now because you really know this when you're in the boot camp. And you're going to pulse it out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. You're going to pull that back leg in. Take the other leg, step it back nice and long. Push through that back hip flexor. Try to get it opened up a little bit. Take those arms up. Lean it over, pulse it out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and pull it in. All right, so that was your little easy, easy warm up. Easy warm up. Dynamic warm up is next. So for that one, we're doing 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We're going through 5 seconds on, not 15. 5 seconds on. You're going to go through it twice. Here's where if you have a timer at home, go ahead and get it set up. 30 seconds on. Five seconds on. If you want to count out 30 reps, you can do that too. You're going to go down the list with me. Aaron will be doing the modifications for each of them. Follow along with your super simple y'all in these exercises. Oh, and you get to hear a whistle, just like in the camp. Okay. Not yet. So, we're getting prepped up for our jump squats. Ready? Here we go. Now, if a jump squat doesn't work for you, you're going to do what Aaron is doing, just a plain old regular squat. If you want to add a little onto it, you can squat down to the toe, down and up to the toes, down and up to the toes. So Otherwise, just stick with those jump squats. Use the arms. You don't get any more jump squat if you're just right here. Use the arms. Get into it. You have 10 more seconds to go. Let's see, let me down on my timer. You have five, four, three, two, one. Five second break, and we're going to go to alternating side lunges. But you're going to stay wide with these. Like, see right here, you're going to come down to one side, stick the hips back. Push it to the center, go down to the other side, push those hips back. Sinking down into that heel, driving the hips back, and then over to the other side. Again, if you want a little more out of this, to make it really dynamic, you can sit here and you can hop from side to side, you can turn into this, to this. Or you stay right here, down, and down. You know you best, and you stick with what you can do best. Number three is going to be our swiper kicks. Stay right here. Swipe or kick just means you come up and over, up and over, up and over. If you need to bend the knee and just work on opening the hip, you can do that too. But you want to drive out, drive out, drive out. You know what that core is doing the whole time is going to help balance you. Try to keep the arms somewhere where they will help keep your balance. Get 10 more seconds and we'll move on to the next one. So you walk out with a hip press. You got five. Four, three, and break. Walk go with a hip press. It's going to look like this. It's not really a push-up. You're going to walk it out, bring it on down, drive those hips into the ground, 
Walk it back up. Bring it back up. Voila. That's for someone out in the audience. You know who you are. Bring it down. Hip press. Push it up. Voila. You got 10 more seconds of these, and then we're going to stay on the ground in a plank. Take it up. Aaron, you can see down right there in that plank. Right here. All right. You can be in a plank down here, or you can be on your forearms. It's up to you. You're going to step it out to one side and the other side. Remember, you can take that plank down to your forearms if you need to. Step out and step out. You can even do it on your knees. Out on one side, out on the other side. Or take it back up to the toes. One side, and the other side. One side, and the other side. Three and five, four, three, two, and break. We're taking it right back up to the top because you got that one more time. All the way from the top squat jumps, modify where you need to. But we call it our dynamic warm up. Basically mirroring all the moves that we're going to do in today's workout, which is called March Madness. For everybody who's going through withdrawals, because we know sports, usually what we try to do around this time at the club is do a March Madness type way of workout. And that's what we're going to do today. Just jump it up and down, and up and down. You get three, two, one. Alternating side punches, one side, and the other side. Pull back and back. This is worth watching alone because how many times do y'all get to see me do the actual workout instead of just barking out orders at you? Take it down and down and down. Ten seconds to go. And then we're gonna move on to those swiper kicks. Five, four, three. Two, quick break. So we have kicks. Remember, you can bend the knee if you need to, or you can have that knee straight up. Since this is your second time through this dynamic warm up, think about opening it up just a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, and a little bit bigger. Swipe it out. Swipe it out. Think about that hip. Lead with the side of the foot. Ten more seconds to go. Don't fall over. Get five, four, three, two. All right, walk out with that hip press. Start up top, walking out, drive those hips into the ground. You don't need to do this one crazy fast. Drive the hips in, push it back up. Voila. Take it back down. Drive those hips into the ground. 15 seconds to go. You're gonna wrap it up with that plank down at the bottom. I think this next one we're gonna end up holding it down to the ground. All right, let's just hold this one down here. It's gonna take us to the last part of our warm up. You can be on your knees, you can be on your toes, forearms, or hands, tapping up those planks. One side and the other side. And remember, if you need to go to your knees for it, or it's just the same, you're still gonna dial through that core. Squeeze through the glutes. Try thinking about those obliques and let them help move that leg around. Got 10 more seconds. Got five, four, three. And congratulations, it's telling me you finished your warm up. So, that's just the beginning. March Madness looks like this, everyone. So, round one. We have 64 seconds of an exercise. We'll have 32 seconds of an exercise. 16 reps of an exercise. Eight reps of an exercise. And four reps of an exercise. Now I'll be the time to get a drink, sip of water if you need it as I go over them. You'll have 64 seconds of soccer feet. Modify them when you need to. It's a little late because it looks like, you know, if it was yesterday, it's St. Patrick's Day. Okay. Walk out push-ups. What we just did, but you're adding the push-ups. You're gonna walk it up, bring it on down, push it up, take it back in. Plank rainbows. You're down on plank, you're making a rainbow. Down and down. That's when we're gonna start getting to our to our cone. Mountain climbers, right and left equals one. That's one. That's two, three, four, five, 
five or six. Four burpees. If you finish at home before I do on camera or Aaron, or Aaron finishes on camera, then you need to jog in place. You're not just going to stand there. Okay? All right, get up the timer that you have made, hopefully. If you don't have one made, then you're just going to count this out and follow along. <clears throat> Starting with the soccer feet. Here's when we see if technology works for me. It's a little whistle. All right, soccer feet's going to start in five, four, three, two. Let's go. Modify where you need to. If you're okay being right here, go with it. If you're not okay with that, then you're going to be here. Maybe bring those arms up a little bit higher. And think about bringing the foot up to you, the foot up to you. Otherwise, if you're okay doing a little job, do a little job. But you do what works best for you at home. The beauty of this workout is there's a mixture of core, cardio, plyometrics in each part of it. You have 30 seconds left to go. And again, remember, you modify where you need to on this one. If you're at home and you're like, I can do better than that, then do it. Take it up to here and keep it for the last 20 seconds if that works for you. Ultimately, workload is yours. Just make sure you're thinking about each movement as you're doing it. You have 10 more seconds. And then we're going to move on to the walkout push-ups. Good. Quick break. Quick break. Y'all are loving this at home. I know you are. So, from here, you're going to go to those walkout push-ups. Not yet. This is where the timer's really weird. See, take the five seconds when we can get it. So, you're going to walk it out. You're going to come down nice and slow into that push-up. Push it back up and walk it back in. If you are rushing these at home, please be careful you don't get dizzy because it is a lot of up and down movement. Think about when you push back up, not getting that whole inchworm thing going up. Ooh, take it back down. Lower it all the way down. You have five more seconds. And take it down and hold for a second. All right, from here, you're gonna go into 16 plank rainbows. It's your count, not mine, yours. So if you're cheating, you're only cheating yourself. You start here, you come over to one side and the other side. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. From those 16 plank rope rainbows, you're going to some mountain climbers. Right and left equal one, and you have a total of eight. So it's going to look like this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You're going to carefully walk it back up. Here's where everyone at home is cheering at the top of their lungs. You have four burpees, and instead of me just yelling at you to do them, I got to do them too. So you're coming up. You're taking it all the way down. Bring it back up. And there's your one. All the way up, hit the ground. There's two, back in, and up. Remember, you modify with these where you need to. Yes, I do chest down burpees. If you're hollering at home that you don't like those kind, then don't do those kind. You do the kind that works best for you. Pick it up. And when you're done with your four, I want you to just jog in place. From there, we go on our intermission because every basketball game has an intermission. Unfortunately, you don't get to go get popcorn, candy, snacks, nuts, soda, the like. What you get to do squatting for 30 seconds, pulsing for 15, well, it's supposed to say 15. Oh, that would be really mean. This should say 15. And then you're going to hold it. I'm not that mean. I'm mean, but not that mean. All right, so 30 seconds. This is what I have on here. All right, 30 seconds, we're going to come down and start squat. This is where technology and I do not get along. Alright. Two minute intermission. Alright. Follow my lead. 30 seconds of squats. You're going to come down and up. Down and up. 
down and up. When you take these squats to the level that works best for you, just like we did in the warm up, if you want to take them into jump squats, go right ahead. Me down and up, down and up. Get 10 more seconds of the regular ones, and then we're going to pulse at the bottom for 15. Body pumpers, you're going to know exactly what that is. You still have bar. All right, bring that down. We're going to pulse it down here. Keep it nice and low. Keep them small. Avoid the bounce. It's a pulse. Pulse, pulse, and pulse. So try to sink into those heels with each one. And then, best part ever, you get to hold it right here. Now, if it doesn't work for you to hold it right here, you can come up and take a break. And then you'll go right back down into the squats when we start them up again in three, two, one. So right back down to the squats. So you're coming down into the heels, up through the heels, down and up and down and up. You'll get a quick, 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 quick break after our two minute intermission. We'll move on to the second round, which is written in red. Again, you modify where you need to. I tried to make sure that when I was writing this up that it all flowed so if you're on the ground, you're going to stay on the ground. If you're up, bring it down, let's pulse right here. Pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. If you're going to stay on the ground, then you're going to be on the ground. If you're standing here, you're going to stand up. So you don't constantly feel like you're up and down, up and down. Unless you're pulsing a squat. Remember, keep it a pulse, and now we're going to hold. This is your last 10 seconds. Remember, come up out of that spot if you need to. Again, you know you best. You have five, four, three, two, and break. Ta-da! All right, from here we're gonna turn on that sideways if you have a mat at home. If you do not have a mat at home, that's okay. Just make sure that you're on a surface where if you are on the ground, your tailbone has a little bit of protection um, because we will be doing a couple of things on the ground. Lateral plank walk with a burpee. Oh, Amy. This is payback, I'm telling you, it's total payback. You may just do all these burpees and we never see you do them. Oh, you are. So, you're gonna come down here and be in a lateral plank block. You're gonna line yourself up with the mat, you're gonna come over, over, and over. You're gonna bring it up, come back down. You're gonna keep the plank over, over, and then back, back, back. You'll do the burpee on one side, unless you're a couple people at home, and we're gonna do it on both sides. High knees is number two, that's 32 seconds. Remember, you modify where you need to. If this is a high knee for you today, you keep that. If this is a high knee for you today, then you keep that. Bridges, single leggers out there, you'll do eight and eight. Two leggers will do the full 16. Eight, eight count is the knee to knee to bicycle. You'll recognize that from boot camp. And four is the crunch and crunch sit up. Again, you'll recognize that from boot camp. You just won't have the weight to do it. All right, so. If you have a mat out there, please make sure that you turn it sideways. I'm going to get my plan up to make sure it's right. And we're going to start with that lateral plank walk with one burpee or two if you're one of those alphas out there. All right? Not yet. There's the whistle to just wake you up. All right. Lateral plank walks. You're going to look like this. Ready? Take it on down. You're going to walk it over, over, over. Bring it up, take it down, and again, you modify where you need to on this one. That plank walk is not your friend today, and you have enough curpeting by you, you just do like a little lateral bear crawl. That works just as well. Go. So remember, 
Come up and lower the song. You get five extra seconds, sorry. So, they are here. You want to make them really high. You do a little bionic man arms. You can do that too. You want to keep them like air. That works too. If you want to add a little more arm, make them into CME crunches. Do that also. You get 15 seconds. Then we're going to move on to those bridges. Where if we were in boot camp right now, I'd be saying, no, it's not now time. Five, four, three, two, take it down. Bridges. You can do them single or both legs on the ground. Again, you know you best. You know what works for you best. Remember, drive through that heel. We got others, we have one or two legs on the ground. You're going to be counting out 16 of them. So if you're two legs, you're here, and that would be one. If you're single leg, you're on one side for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, then switch to the other side, other leg goes up. And remember, if it doesn't work for you to have this foot all the way up in the air, you can have it bent too. There's four, five, six, seven, and eight. Knee to toe bicycles, eight of those. Each side, do right and left to get one. So remember your knee to toers, it's here. One. Now do the other side to complete that one. And here's two. Knee, toe, other side, knee, toe. That's two. Knee, toe, knee, and toe. That's three. Here's four. Other side. That's five. Knee and toe. Knee and toe. That's six. Here's seven. We're going to take it up for our last one on one side. Knee and toe. And knee and toe. And that's right. From there, you're going into crunch to crunch. Sit You only have four. That means you're going to come up all the way. Punch, punch, slowly roll it back down, slowly bring it up, reach for the other side, one side of the knee, the other side of the knee, that's two, take it up, here's three, one side, the other side, slowly roll it down, take it back up, here's your fourth, one side, and the other side, look at that, we had to do two rounds already, we're on the intermission number two, which we're doing on the other side of the board, grab water right here if you need it, how often you need it. Your intermission looks like this. And if it helps to know after this, you only have one more round. Your intermission is going to all be on the ground. You're going to release it for 30 seconds. You're going to hold it at top for 30. You're going to do your twist up top. Most of us know them as Russian twist for 15 seconds. And I will be showing modifications of that. Because remember, there's a modification for pretty much everything out there. You're going to do what works best for you. Take a quick break, we'll move it on to round three. One more intermission, and then we have a core surprise at the end. So we're gonna take it on down. I'll get my handy dandy timer up. I'll be a pro at this buddy in a minute. Alright, so not yet. We're gonna start with these V sits. Alright, we're gonna take it up and up and up and up. So coming up into that V. Boat. Use those arms each time. If you want to challenge yourself, don't let those shoulders come on the ground each time. Pull in through the belly button, almost like you're trying to zip it up into your rib cage. Pull it up. And up. And up. And now we're going to come up for our 30 second hold. If you want, you can hold the back of your legs. If you want to challenge yourself, you're just going to sit like so. Hey, you need a challenge like this on top of a ghost for the biggest moves you're going to have. Sure did. It's a lot easier when you're sitting on the ground. All right, we're going into our twists, one side and the other side. Now, here's where if you're feeling it too much in your low back or your quads, you need to put those heels on the ground and safely do your twists, one side and the other side like so. All right, we're going back into the V sits right now. As you're coming down and up, again, if you need that assistance right here and hold up top, take it. The most important thing about any of these exercises, if you're doing them safely at home, 
and modifying where you need to. The only wrong way is the type that hurts yourself. And you're not out to hurt yourself, you're just out to get a good workout. Ultimately, you all want to be safe in the end. All right, here's our 30 seconds. Now we're going to hold it. Balance. Try to think about it. Put the heels on those quads and hip flexors are burning too much, and then take them right back up. If you need to readjust, readjust. And then we're going to go into our twists right here. One side and the other side. One side and the other side. Drop those heels again. If those hip flexors are burning, you know where your hip quad meets. You gotta put this down. Stay on break. Nice job. Alright, we're gonna be moving on to our third and final round. Third and final round looks like this. You are hikes to cross climbers. Super cubes with a lap pole, hard dogs, knee release push-ups, plank saws. If you have a mat at home, you can turn it sideways. 64 seconds of your pikes to cross climbers. You're gonna be down on the ground the whole time. You're gonna pike it up. Come on one side, pike it up to the other side. Two is gonna be super peeps with the left pull. That means you're down to here. You're gonna come up, pull, and back down. Amy, why do you call them super peeps? Because there's more than just super men out there, there's super people out there. Bird dogs. That's my cheesy line of the day. I'll be all day, folks. Eight on one side. Eight on the other side. Hand release push-ups. We're mirroring pretty much what we did in the beginning. We're coming down low. Releasing those hands, pushing it back up, trying to avoid the whole inchworm. Lastly, plank saws F and B. This is not Facebook friends. It is front and back. Front, back equals one. All right? Look at that. Round three already here. We're almost there. All right. Pikes, two cross climbers. I'll get down to the ground. Prepare. We'll be right here. All right, we're going to start in three, two, one. All right, let's go. We're going to pike it up and swoop it down. Pike it up and swoop it down. If you're looking for a little more out of this at home and you want to add a hip dip and get really low, please do so. Again, you know your body best and you know what to do to make the most out of this workout. Really drive those hips into the air each time. This isn't about how fast you can do it, it's about how mindful you can make this particular movement. You're getting your whole body in this particular move. Your shoulders all the way down to your calves because you're driving those heels into the ground each time you come up into that pipe. Drive it up, take it down. Drive it up, and take it down. Again, you be careful of the speed. You go too fast on this one, you're gonna get like cut it. Alright, I'm gonna take it down to the ground for those super peeps. What did you see in me? You were talking into a towel. Super peeps, we're gonna be down here. Looks like this. Not yet. Yet three, two, one. Take it up. Pull, reach it out, and then take it back down. Up, pull it in, reach it out, and back down. If you had an exercise band at home, a resistance band of some sort, you could hold on to it right now and do those lap pulls on the ground with the band. You need that little extra something. If the lap pulls at your front, you're just going to do super peeps. Keep those eyeballs on the ground at all times to keep your neck protected. Get four, three, two, and break. All right, from there we're going into bird dogs. Eight on one side and eight on the other. We are to the count. That means it's your count. Remember bird dogs, the slower you go, the harder they are. So go slow. Here we go. You're going to pull in. You're going to reach out. That's eight. Seven. Six. Think about how long you can reach out. Here's five. Here's three, two, and one more. Oh, you know, Amy, you can't count. We all know that by now. It's no secret. All right, pull it in. Other side. Reach it out nice and long. That's one. And here's two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and eight. Good, we are down to our eight hand release push-ups. So they're gonna look like this. It's your count at home. You finished before me, you better find something interesting to do. Take it on down, release the hands, push back up. That's eight. Take it on down. Remember, go to the knees if you need to. It's the same move. Yeah, four more to go. Three more to go. Two more to go. Take it up to finish it. All right, last one is your plank saws. This works best on your forearms, everyone. You can't really do a saw on your hands. So, forearms. You're gonna come forward and back, that's one. So one, and back. Two, keep yourself nice and level. Three, one more makes it four. Nice job. All right, our last intermission. It is all on the ground. I'm not even gonna pretend that it's fun. So you have a roll up. I'm gonna turn my mat sideways, just so you can see what's going on. Roll up with a leg raise and lower. You're gonna hold your legs in the air for 15 seconds. And you're gonna do a small crunch, so it looks like this. Roll ups are like this. You start all the way up, reach for the sky, reach for your toes, bring it all the way up, slowly bring it back down one vertebra at a time. Then you have to raise the legs, lower the legs. I'll keep you that low back in the ground. Bring it all the way up, reach it out, bring it up, up, and down. The leg will hold us here for 15 seconds. Now, if you need to take some pressure off and bend the knees a little bit, please do. Small crunches or just these. Just get the shoulder blades off the ground. All right, it's your last two minute intermission and then you just get to do four. Ooh. All right, two minute intermissions. Not yet. All right, we're gonna start down on the ground. Arms are above your head. Rolling it up, here we go. Roll it up, reach for the sky, reach out for the toes. Bring it back up, slowly roll it back down. Now you're gonna add a leg raise. You're gonna raise those legs up off the ground. Slowly lower them back down, control all the way to the bottom. And then bring it up, roll it out. Bring it back up, and unroll yourselves out onto the ground. Leg raise it up, bring it back down. Good, bring it all the way up. Reach for those toes, back up. Slowly bring it down. All right, from here, you're gonna go to that leg hold. Just hold them, hold them, hold them. If you need to put your hands underneath your tailbone to get that back to engage, please do so. If you have to bring your head up a little bit, please do so. And then bring the legs down, small crunches right here, up and up. I got a little carried away with the roll-ups. Lucky you, you didn't have to do the leg hold for as long. All right, here we go. Straighten yourselves back out, roll, roll ups one more time. You're gonna roll it all the way up. Reach up for the toes. Bring it back up. Unroll yourself on the ground. And then you're gonna have that leg raise. You're gonna bring those legs up. You're gonna slowly lower them back down. Pull yourself all the way up to the top. Reach up for those toes. Bring it back up. Slowly unroll yourself. And this time you're gonna hold it down here. And you're gonna get the pelt right. And you're gonna hold our legs up and out. Try as hard as possible to get that low back in the ground. That's why I was just shifting. If your leg hold is up here in order to keep that low back safe, then that's where it is for you. Yeah, three, two, one, and then safely bring them down. You're going into those really small crunches. Shoulder blades are coming out the ground. Think about pulling in through that belly button, reaching up, 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 and up. Three, two, one, and break. Nice job. All right. Last part of this one, core, and then you're done. Your core is a finisher. 30 seconds on, 15 seconds, five seconds on, 15. Five seconds off, two times through. Knee drop planks, they are not what you just did. Knee drop planks are a really interesting exercise because you can challenge yourself into holding a plank for a little bit longer. These plank competitions have a tendency to just sit in your back and your shoulders. Here's where you can teach yourself how to hold the plank best. You start on your knees, Curl those toes up and pop it up. And you're gonna hold it. You're gonna drop those knees real quick when I say drop, and then you're gonna pop it right back up. So 
like a dragon pup. But I'm not a dancer, so I'm not going to call it that. Two is going to be a side plank variation. I will show you all the different ways you can do a side plank. Three is going to be your oblique elk crunches. You make your owls with your hands. You reach for the back of the heels. We all have a different name for this particular one, but it gets into your obliques. Side plank on the other side. Crouching tiger to the hip cross. It's a really cool name for a nice stretch. You're going to crouch it back as far as you can. Let's bring it forward. Drive those hips into the ground. So we're taking a move from our dynamic warm-up. We're incorporating it into our core. And then we're going to go through it one more time just to be all fresh and ready on that last move. All right? Here we go. Starting with the knee drop planks. Ready? Here we go. Pop it up. You're gonna hold it. Bye. See how you're gonna put your hands on the ground? Now we're gonna drop to those knees. One of the better ways to do the planks is just how Aaron is doing it. Pushing those palms into the ground instead of gripping like I was doing, praying for it to be over. Alright, drop them to the knees. Curl under those toes, pop it up and hold it. Squeeze through the glutes, hold it as tight as you can. For another three, two, one, and then take it down. Side plank, however it works best for you. You pick a side. This is one variation of a side plank. Yes, this is a side plank, folks. There's nothing wrong with this. I'm still getting into my oblique, but I'm having a little less pressure on my shoulder. If you have a shoulder issue, this is where your plank should be. You want to take it up a little bit more? You can be here. Some of you at home are thinking this is too boring. You can go into your rotations or your dips. You get 10 more seconds up here. Whatever you do on one side for your side plank, you have to do on the other. Get three, two, one, and then you're gonna safely bring it down. We're gonna go into the oblique elk crunches. All right, L's reaching for the back of the heel. You wanna make it harder for yourself? You scoop those feet away from you so you have to reach even further. I call these penguins. Oh, that's a good name from. I like that. It's a little fun. It is like a little penguin. If it's feeling too much in your neck, put your head down a little bit closer to the ground and you're still getting into those obliques. Get five, four, three, two, and All right, other side for that side plank, I'm just gonna scoop to the other side. Y'all can face a different way if you want. You're gonna be up here. I right, remember, whatever you did on one side, you gotta do it on the other side. So if your side plank on one side was here, it needs to be here on the other side. You always wanna be equal. Even if you feel stronger on one side, you gotta let that other side catch up to you. We don't wanna be lopsided in life, right? Right. 10 seconds to go. Where we can have that dip if you want. If your arm is up, it encourages you to reach for the ceiling, not fall backwards, and keep that hip facing the right direction. All right, lastly on this list is your crouching tiger. Put you all the way tiger as you crouch back like so. And you're gonna shoot forward, drop those hips into the ground. If you wanna turn it into something more, curl the toes under. Try to hover those knees, then drop them, and then spring forward, drop those hips into the ground. Bring it back, get big, big as you reach and push. Spring it forward, drive those hips into the ground. Take it back. Got five more seconds of this, and we're right back to the top. All right, five second break, right back to the top. One more time through with this, and you will completed your workout. All right, here we go. Remember, Form is key. You're right here. Take it down to the knees. You're still in a really good plank. You're still pulling into that core, squeezing through the glutes. Tuck those toes, pop it back up to a regular plank. And you're gonna drop it down to the knees, still in a nice long plank. Pop it back up to the toes. You're gonna just hold it right here for another three, two, one, and right. All right, side plank. Again, whatever side you wanted to, if you didn't do, go back to it right now. All the way up. Or here. Remember, you can dip it, you can twist it, but listen to your, the rest of your body. If this shoulder is starting to say, I don't know what's going on here, and this oblique isn't doing anything, that means you have to come down to this, please. Again, it doesn't make it any less of a plank, it makes it a safer plank. Get three, two, one, and bring it on down. Our penguins are next. I like that name better than elk punches. <laughs> it's, one, it's one word. I like one word exercises. 
especially when it's a fun little bitty penguin. And you can picture the penguin running around while you're doing this. Totally picture the penguin. It makes it so much more fun. So much more fun. Look at that. You have 15 more seconds to go. Reaching and reaching. Remember to make it harder. Move those feet further away from you, so you have to reach further and further. Remember, don't make it into the MC hammer. Your shoulders should not be doing that move that he does in his dance. Obliques. Hand break. Other side for your side plank. Two more to go. We're in the home stretch home prize. Bring it on up. Remember, what you did on one side, you gotta do on the other side. If you kicked it up for this final round, you know where you had. Oh look! Here's got a foot raise while she's on her knee. That's another way to kick it up from a still safe plank. There you go. Look at that. Oh, she's adding a little kick. <laughs> you have 10 more seconds to go. See, this is why two people do the workout. Yeah, three, two, one, three down. Last one is our crouching tiger into our hip round press. All right, approach it back. Just call these crouching tigers, but then I think I'm steal it from my yoga move. Take it back. And our yoga man is running the camera, so. Yeah, 15 seconds to go. Take it all the way down, press it in. Take it all the way back. Press it down and in. Back. Take it down. And yeah, break. That's it. Yeah, you all did it. Nice job. From here, you should do a cool down on your own. Make sure you stretch yourselves out. Grab some water. Go eat something. And if you lock the kids in their room, you better unlock them and let them out. But do you please make sure that you stretch it out. And keep moving. Keep doing everything that you can do while we're going through this really weird time, folks. Know that all of us here miss you. We miss you very much. Um, we'll all get through this together, but please keep moving. Please keep doing everything you can. Keep those good, healthy habits in place that all of you have. Um, and we will see you as soon as we can see you, I promise. Take care, everyone. Stay healthy. Wash your hands and don't touch your face.